It is 4.34 p.m. Sunday, September the 13th, 2020. I am dragging my ass today. <laughs> I am just exhausted. I'm tired and I, I just, like, I want to take a break, but... These bills is not taking a break, bruh. <laughs> Seriously, not taking a break. Anyhow, it is a blessed day today. God's afternoon, God's evening, God's morning, and God's night. Wherever you are on the face of this planet. How are y'all doing today? Let's take a ride. You want to take a ride with me? I'd like for y'all to take a ride with me as we discuss communication. How well do you communicate? And in your communication, is it um, an explanation that grabs your attention? Do people take on to you because of your great communication? Do you cross to them as an excellent advisor in your communication? Or... Does it need work? Um, or does it say, uh, I, I think I do pretty good. I'm okay. You know, I, I, I get my point across. So, today I'm trying to film... Uh, yet again, another one. I, I'm 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 gonna work on it as much as possible. But um, yes, I got on makeup today, and if it cries me a river, oh well. Um, but anyway, I look at how I commute communicate with my sons my daughter, my sisters, my brothers. And even yet, I'm on an online dating service. Quite a few of them, to be exact. And there are people that are on there that you 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 try your best to state what it is that you want your needs or your desires so there are a few topics here that I want to discuss let's let's try to work with your your past and your present and see where it goes from there all right i i have short term memory loss uh, so you know it, it's a hard thing for me to remember things so if i get cut off it's cuz somebody called me and fucked up the um, video as usual. Um, but if I get it and there is no echoing, uh, it's a hit and miss thing with me. So let's see how that goes today. So how are y'all doing right now? Um, y'all all right? I'm leaving my house 
and I'm going to go get me something to eat from the chicken place. There are multiple, multiple chicken places um, around me, but I don't feel like trying new things. I'm gonna stick with something that I know that I it's gonna work with me, all right? <laughs> anyway, oh, God dog it, I forgot my pillow. Shoot. Um, so let's start with the online dating services. Now, I've been divorced since 2013 for the third time already and not yet um, found no one uh, that I can click to of course then again I really was trying to find friends male friends and um, I've been off and on with this one dude, but uh, we're at a halt at the moment. So I'm trying to find some new friends, seeing that I don't have anybody. And on this website, the dating websites is um, a lot of hit and misses with that. I communicate as to what I want, what I need, what I so desire in a mate. And I've come across a lot of scammers. Excuse me. Um men who take advantage of um, the ladies who need help or want someone in their lives and they have you try to sign up for Bitcoin or um, they want your personal information they're going to help you with your credit. They're going to, you know, help you get into um, a place as long as they are able to mentor you or whatever the hell they're doing. And you're like the biggest sucker for this, right? You you like, okay, all right, yeah, sure, all right, yeah, just come on, just, you know, be my man, yeah. <laughs> that shit don't work. And as much as I have cast out spells um, to draw to me the men what kind of a man, you know, that I want. There are still, um, envious, vindictive, spiteful, and jealous people that are hidden somewhere in the friends of friends or friends that's supposed to be your friends or, you know, doing it just because I can. And you notice that because no matter how much you communicate with these guys, no matter how much time and effort you put out towards um, speaking of the truth or, you know, how things have went with you and your love life, if you've been abused or if you've been 
you know, uh, misguided or you just don't trust them because of the things that that they've done to you or said to you or, you know, just certain things in your life that take a toll on you. And you say, I don't want John, Jane or John Doe, you know, to be a drinker. I don't want them to be a smoker. I don't want, you know, them to be cheating on me. I don't want them to, you know, um, spend a lot of money just wasting things, wasting on things that are not necessary. And then you can also communicate, you know, what kind of life you want to live. I want uh, peace. I want a peaceful environment. I want loyalty. And I want um, love. And, and I want you to... Um, I don't want you to be, like, up under me all the time, but, you know, just, um, give me some attention and affection and, and, you know, whatever I desire, you know, every now and then, and I'll be cool, right? You can cast out all of that energy and saying what it is that you like and what you what you don't like and how you want it to be. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> anyway, um, once you put that energy out there, then um, you expect the universe or uni to respond and how you want them to respond is in a positive manner it's not going to always go out um, into the universe it, like I want um I want mayonnaise, ketchup, and light mustard on my bread, right? And I want double cheese mixed in there, right? Universe may say, oh, she want mayonnaise lots of cheese make it thick matter of fact and um oh what what the hell just just give her enough ketchup and enough mustard on there so she'll be happy or he'll be happy right and you get it and you're like what the hell no no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, let, let, let's try this again. So, the thing is, your ancestors say, what do you mean, let's try this again? You said, <laughs> and I quote, this is what you wanted, right? And you were like, no, I said, I want this, this, and a light of this, and two slices of this, not a whole chunk, right? <laughs> and you can be going back and forth with the universe all you want, but it's how you word it. And I tell people all the time, you know, be careful on how you're wording what it is that you want from the universe. Let's give another example. Let's think of something real quick here. Let's say 
I'm doing a money spell. I put in give me money to pay my rent, pay my utilities, and um, spiritual supplies. And let's throw in Let's throw in um, rent money, utility, spiritual supplies. Let's throw in some food. All right. Who do you address for that? Okay. I, I, I word it like this. Okay, let me go back. Thank you in your holy divine name, Jehovah God, for blessing me with rent, money, utilities, and um, food, and my spiritual supply. And thank you for blessing me with... Um, uh, oh, shoot, I missed my exit. Okay. Um, thank you for blessing me with um, enough money left over so that I can have for gas, whatever. Right? Um, so. It will give you what you ask for, but it may not give you all of what you're asking for because of the way you worded it, right? So, you might get a little frustrated and time may come up to where it's, um, it's time for rent to show up. And you don't have enough money. So, you have to do it again. Or you don't have enough money, you know, to save your power from getting cut off. So, you have to do it again. Or you need food. So, so here's how you communicate that. In the name of Jehovah God, or whoever your God or goddess is, um... I thank you under your authority, the power, grace, and mercy, under your kingdom, your reign, your rule. I thank you for your blessings and the peace that you give me in my mind, my spirit, my soul. I thank you for your holy divine spirit that comes with me, in me, and I thank you for blessing goddess Oya, goddess, um, uh, say, Oshun, or Yamaya, one of them, um, I thank you, Queen Califia, I thank you, Saint, um, Saint Loreto, for blessing me, with uh, money and a place to live and keeping my rent paid on time and in full and um, thank you for uh, your assistance as well for um, um, helping me find money and be able to keep my place thank you to um sir martin de Porres for bringing in 
uh, money in abundance and food on my table and blessing me with the um, the power to be able to maintain um, the constant flow and serenity that I have that you give me and gift to me for having um, not worry about food, not worry about money, not worried about having to pay my rent on time and in full. And then um, you can address as well um, Archangel Michael to stop anybody that is blocking your flow for um, protection and um, your monies. Your 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 housing. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna order me some Thank you for the pudding. Our business. I'm gonna help you. Hi. Um. Can I have a twelve-piece uh barbecue wing? Okay. Twelve-piece honey barbecue wings. Is there anything else I can give you? And a Coke or Pepsi? I mean. What? A medium Pepsi? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else I can give you? No. 1406 at my window. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, then, um, so there's, so I would address them, and then I would address, um, Who else? If I want, um, m like, if I want to address, oh, I also address, um, King Solomon, thank you for blessing me daily, you know, with money to swiftly, quickly, um, to be able to receive it. Hold on again, y'all. Hold on. So anyways, um, I would address, you know, them, and if I know there's a blockage somewhere. I would also uh, thank you. Thank uh, you. You have an amazing day. Thank you. You too. Um. I would address them. And um I would I would thank them for blessing me uh, because I needed food, I needed shelter, I needed um 
my utility bills to be paid. I need everything to be on time and in full, right? And in your holy divine power, in your holy name, and under the authority, the reign, the rule, your kingdom, I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for swiftly uh, coming to my aid. And I would put in a scripture like Psalm 25, 26, you know, and that I would, you know, ask for uh, help with. And so, um, this is what I would do um, to communicate. Now, if you put in that, then it is precise, it is clear, it is very well written out, and it is very well understood exactly what it is that you want. Right? There's no gaps in what it is that you want, need, or so desire. And there is uh, no, I didn't ask for this because this is what I asked for and, and you short me of what I asked for. Right? So, once you get that written out, then... You can oil your paper, you can oil your candle, you can oil your um, candles and do whatever it is you're doing. So, this guy on this one site, he, he was like, um, He was talking about, do your clothes hang over, I mean, sh come short of what your, your, um, like, do your short, do your clothes, do your butt crack show and all that, your short come way above, does it not fit you, your, um, the way you use I'm thinking this guy is talking about himself, right? He asked me to send him a text message, gives me his number. I said, okay. So I, I do it. And once I do it, then, then the next thing I know, he's like kind of fat shaming his ex-girlfriend, which I really thought that he was asking to, because I, I didn't know, I'm looking for my eyeglass case. Oh, here it is. Um, I, I thought that he was going to um, ask me this because he was trying to say that he was selling clothes um, or something other rather and uh, or something that uh, he was selling like some uh, short uh, I mean some some diet stuff right so, when he shows me his ex-girlfriend and then says, you know, this is what um, I, was I wanted to know, and I was like, why would you do that? Why would you, you know, like, shame her to get another woman? That. That, that's not something you do um, to get another woman's uh, uh, attention, you know. 
because it, then it comes across uh, to another woman as if you wanted to say, oh, you know, talk about this other person in a bad, demeaning way. You know, like I told dude, like, you know, you don't belittle somebody or you don't, you know, be demeaning to someone because of that. You know, that's not what you do to get somebody's attention. And so, um, I'm like, bruh, <laughs> you going about it all the wrong way. The next thing I know, cause I sent him a picture of me and my clothes fully all over my body. And he says, Oh, apparently, I'm sorry that you're not the one that I'm looking for. Good luck. Huh? How do you communicate that? Like, okay. So, you, you, you. All of that, and you get enough of that, and and then you get enough of trying to, you know, talk to these men and see how it goes, and you get enough of the motherfuckers scamming and doing what they're doing, they're not helping you. Like, that was a waste of energy. Are you paying on these? dating websites, you know, your money every month to find somebody. But yet, you're finding these people that the admin in the in that company, they take your money, they block the people that want or have interest in you, and, you know, until it's until you say, okay, enough is enough, and then you stop paying them, and then they they hook bait you with later somebody that shows interest to you, and then that has a message, and you you want to find out what this message is, but that means you got to pay again, right? People get tired of that. People really get tired of that, and then you be wanting to do a spell on them to, like, fuck you, and, you know, I'm tired of this bullshit. And you ain't got money to be paying these sites because you got stuff to do with the money that you got, the little bit you got, especially this year, Right? You ain't got time for that. So, let me, um, hold on. I got to pump some gas.
Okay, the gas is pumping. I'm trying to get ready for work, y'all. So, anyway, that, you know, for that issue, what I usually do is, um, I put justice powder and justice oil on a candle and I write, you know, my intentions uh, for them to stop taking people's money, especially mine. I, I know, uh, okay, hold on. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Huh. Okay. Got my little receipt, and I am going to write today. Anyway, um, I hope it don't echo because I noticed that it got the um, echo thing. I mean the uh, the phone number on here. It always does that when I'm in my car and um, the phone number shows up when I'm on YouTube. So anyway, I I use um that I am um Okay, okay. okay. Hold on. Much better. Um, so I use Justice, and I put, um, give me my money, right? This guy is parked right in the middle of the traffic. Um, so... I put give me my money and um I use like uh Devil's Claw. That's what I use. Oh, better bag up because I don't want the rest of my bumper to come off. Okay. 
Um, so anyway, this is what I use to have them stop doing this to people, certainly to me. I know I keep going in at it like, like I don't know what the business is. And, um. We all know what the business is about it. And so, anyway, um, that's a part of that communication. And for the people, the men, or men or women, man or woman, on there that um, fat shame people, like, I had this one guy um, with, I came across his profile, and I was like, just being sweet and honest as much as I could be, and um, trying to advise him, you know, please by, um, be careful, uh, because people... See your profile with the money and all this money sitting here, but you may have somebody come across as a scammer, um, scam artist, or people who um, who um, might rob you or set you up or something like that. Dude got mad at me. And say, yeah, because you're one of the people that'll rob me and, and you're the one that'll be a scam artist and set me up and you need to sit your fat ass down and shut your fat ass up. Oh. Wow. Really? All right. And then he blocked me. <laughs> because I was telling the truth. Just the other day, and that was a few months ago, just the other day, I looked at his profile. And guess what? I wasn't blocked. And guess what? I don't see any pictures of money sprung straw all over everywhere. Hmm. Guess 2020 got a hold of his ass, huh? Hmm. Just because I communicated with him over what me personally I see that you're setting yourself up to do. Now, with my kids, I have three. A daughter and two boys. My baby boy always communicates with me. Always sit and have conversations with me and talk with me. At one point, he got a little, uh, uh, let me hurry up and get off the phone kind of conversation. And I'm like, what the hell is that all about? Why are you rushing me off the phone? Right? So that, he gets his moments where he don't want to talk. But um, usually he'll he'll take time and talk to me, right? My oldest son, 
a few, I, I about one minute is, is enough conversation with him, man. <laughs> if that. I be wanting to communicate with him. He don't call. He don't call, um, talk to me and whatnot. And, and sometimes I have to say, hey, what's going on? You ain't called to talk to me today or any days or none at all. You know. And he'll say, my bad, mama. And then he'll talk to me for a few minutes couple of minutes. That's enough for him. Um, my daughter will communicate when she feels like communicating. When I'm on good terms <laughs> with my daughter. Right? But she wants me to love her and she wants me to be there and whatnot. But you can't be in somebody's life that don't want you to be in somebody's life. You can't love somebody or deal with somebody who, you know, shows you how not to. Sorry, y'all. Thirsty. So... There's different levels of communicating. One, I want to be bothered with you. One, I tolerate you. And one, I'm just, I'm glad to talk with you. Right? And the other two, you know, may get jealous of the one because the one communicates and spends time and talks with you. How many people have kids that don't communicate with them as often as you would like for them to do so? Do you have a real good um, unity? Do you have a real good bond? And if not, then, you know... I would suggest um, using o Oshun candle for um, blessing. I would suggest um, Shamael or Samael Sam is what they call. Shemael, the uh, Archangel of Love, and um, there's a candle for communicating. I can't think of the name of it, but I had got some oil that I found on Church Goods um, uh, Supplies. Church Goods, it's in Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. I believe it's Chicago. And it is said that the oil is to bring a lot of people around you to uh, communicate. And there's another oil for like if you trying to grow your business, pastors use this oil, and this is on their website, not mine. So I was like, really? Hmm. All right, let's let's hook it up. <laughs> so, um. I always use the ancestor papers. You can go through K and K. Um, uh, what's it? K and K. Bank having a hell banknote, right? And. 
done multiple supplies on original uh, Botanica products. You can spend endless days there. And if you don't know how to do any of that, you just want the energy done and sent out, you can go to um, California Astrology Association and get a spell done with them. When you click on that link, um, go to the um, cast spell and then, you know, they got plenty of spells for communication, love, um, lust, money, desires, um, house, you know, anything that you want is pretty much there, right? And um, if you want me to do it, you know, just say, hey, Jessica, I like this spell done, okay? Done it dark, comes to light spiritually. Open that communications up. Open up, you know, the truth about what it is you truly desire. You know, say that you want a mate. Say that you want um, affection and attention. Or, or you just want sex. How about that? Hmm? Um, don't come across to me, though, personally, uh, saying you want something from me in that manner because I, I will cuss you out. Mm-hmm. Yes, I would. Sure would. And just be nice about it. now. If you're going to be rude, though, I have a rude stick, too. It's called, it's a fuck day for you. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is, sweetheart. Anyway, stop messing with y'all. But that is what my oil is. So... Take your time. Communicate what it is that you want and how you're going to want it done. Make sure that you word some of your needs properly. Make sure that you don't have a oopsie. I need to put a bandage <laughs> on, on, on my on my spell. On my, uh, uh, what the uni gave me, universe, right? Take your time. Listen. Be patient. You can trust what is out there that may come, but don't take advantage of what the spirit does for you don't you know just keep doing it because for a long time I never wanted to use goddess Oya even though she said that she wanted me to work with her and Elegba wanted me to work work with them right I didn't want to be disrespectful to her energy you know, I want to make sure that when it's something that was important came along, then that's what I'd use her energy for. Like if somebody had died and people didn't have the money to, you know, cross their family over or pay for their um, the uh, funeral. And um, also... Um, if um, 
I needed protection from her or something like that, you know. That's what I used her energy for. But she came to me and was like, even to another person and said, it's okay. You know, I'm here for you so that you can work with me. So I had to learn to say, okay, and eventually I'm I'm okay now with asking her for things, right? So anyway, it's been about an hour of chatting with you, and now I need to go on ahead and get what I need out of Wally World and then eat my food and... I'm all fueled up for work. I'm in Rancho Cordova, and I'll probably be all over Sacramento somewhere. But um, I will chat with you guys later, all right? Take the note and try to learn how to word out what you need, okay? And then uh, use the corresponding oils, herbs for it and, and your intentions for it. And then candle or ancestor paper, whichever you want to use. If you don't have ancestor paper, use parchment paper, which is the brown paper bag, you know. And um, either burn it or boil it. You know, use water or whatever you want to do. Put it in a jar, whatever it is you're going to do, right? So, anyway, I will talk with y'all later. Y'all have yourself a blessed day, all right? And don't aggravate the spirits. And they won't aggravate you. How about that? Right? All right. God's afternoon, God's evening, God's morning, and God's night to all. And I will see you guys later. I love y'all. And take good care of yourselves. All right? Bye-bye.